There's got to be a psychological disorder for all the people who say that their ex had a psychological disorder. And this is one of those things, man, if you're one of those people and we've all been there, I've been there where we break up with someone and then we get obsessed with how fucked up that person was, how deplorably evil they could be. And now that we're broken up, we can now see all the evils that were hidden from us. And the only way they could be hidden is because this person is such a maniacal evil person. Look, here's the thing, people. There are crazy people out there in the world. There are tons of them. There's a ton and there's so many different psychological disorders that, you know, man, there's probably new ones every day. Maybe not, maybe there's whatever. But the fact of the matter is, is so what? You're broken up from that person. You're done. Why does it have to be such a big deal? And I'm gonna tell you this from you know my perspective. I've dated some crazy people. I've dated some truly fucked up people. But the one thing that I got out of that was that if I sat around ruminating on why they were such evil people or, or their true disorders, and I could also tell you this, that most of you folks who've dated a psychopath or a narcissist or a Machiavellian or whatever the, the kitsch thing, a, a bipolar borderline person is, I've probably dated worse and I've had worse consequences from it. And yeah, part of that is probably because I'm stupid and I let it go too far. But the biggest part of that was that a part of me chose that person. And see, when we start blaming that my ex is a narcissist, my ex is a psychopath, my ex is bipolar, they're fucking crazy, and you don't know what mental illness is, we are putting ourselves in a position where we accept zero responsibility for that fact. And when I, when I accept zero responsibility for things in my life, guess where I put myself? I put myself in the blame game. I put myself in an area where I hate something. I put myself in an area where I have to be at war with something just to have a purpose about myself because my life isn't good enough to be there. When I can accept a responsibility and say, oh man, I dated a fucking psycho person. Good, I'm done with them. I'm, it's over. No mas. Or I can even take it a step further and go, I wonder why I fell in love with that person. Sure, they lied to me about everything. Sure, they kept it hidden because that's what these psychological disorders do. So convenient for you, right? So convenient for you to be a victim. But what about that made me love them? Because a bunch of other guys or girls or whatever uh, you've dated didn't fall for that, but I did. Why did they like me? Why did this happen? And when we start going, oh, I was preyed upon or I was, you know, victimized or I didn't know. Well, guess what? Now, you know, motherfucker. So grow up and stop blaming and start moving beyond it. Man, I'll tell you this. You know, I've had some really, really bad shit happen in my life. And the best thing, the absolute hands down best thing that I ever got from that was I didn't get justice. I didn't get admiration from other people. I didn't get people saying, feeling sorry for me. That all stopped. Because the crazy that I got involved in was, was a lot. I'm, yeah, I'm a pretty intense human being. And I had to learn the hard way. I had to learn the hard way that when nobody was listening to me whining and complaining about my shitty relationship or getting involved in the cause that I had of solving the world's problems from having the relationships with people like that, as soon as I, that was shut off from me because I did it so much, guess what? I got to look at myself. And I got to answer those questions. Why did I fall in love with that person? Why was I interested in it? Why did I want to have more of it? Why did they love me? Why did it grow into such an amazing you know, relationship that had good qualities? Why was the sex good? And I started to answer those questions about myself. And guess what happened? I started to have good relationships. I don't have fucked up relationships with people now. I don't have fucked up friendships. I don't have friendships with people that use me or take advantage of me. And this isn't because I'm protecting myself. This isn't because I'm hyper aware. This is because I see the things in myself and I solve those problems. So if I do talk to somebody who's a little bit crazy, which I still do, in a way, I'm still attracted to it. In a way, I still like it. In a way, I still like having friends that might have that but I don't let it get into my life. See, it takes two people to fight. It takes two people to harm one another. It takes two people to get in these blistering arguments. And guess what it also takes two people for? It takes two people to be a victim, all right? And the thing about it is, is that if you can solve that, man, that's key. I honestly think it, I honestly think it, man, that there truly is some 
psychological weird fuck up disorder for people that become obsessed about their exes, you know, being whatever the fuck they are, just so you don't have to look at yourself. Take a close look at yourself, change your fucking life. If you're blaming anybody, or if you think the problem's women, or if you think the problem is going to be solved by controlling people, or if you think the problem's going to be solved by hurting people in some other way, you're on the wrong route, buddy. And you're going to fuck yourself. I found this the hard way. And, you know, I'll say this, man. I've, I've lived a crazy life. I've done a bunch of crazy shit. But I'm very grateful for it. Because I don't have those problems that 90% of the world has. Maybe because they didn't push it hard enough. Maybe because they didn't fuck it up so much that, that they saw that they had to change things. But I have a very good life. And why I make these podcasts, why I make these different messages is so that you don't have to screw up as bad as me. The reasons why I did was because the information wasn't out there. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I had no idea. I had no idea what to do, like, you, you know, if it was normal or abnormal, if a girl came at you with a knife, I didn't realize it was normal or abnormal, if she, you know, fucked up all your cars or, or whatever it was. I didn't realize it was normal or abnormal to have somebody lie that much. Of course, I, I, I thought it was wrong. I didn't think it was right. But I didn't realize, like, wow, man, maybe I don't have to jump to extremes about, about this. Maybe I can just say, hey, no, I don't want to be with you anymore. Maybe I could handle situations a little bit better. I had to learn the hard way. You don't. Stop your fucking bullshit. It's the most pussy ass way to deal with some, something. If you come at me and you say your ex had a psychological disorder, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. So what? You know what that tells me? tells me that you are a pussy, you won't look at yourself, and you won't change the things about your life. Changing you has nothing to do with forcing and changing other people. If you need to get yourself out of a situation, get the fuck out. But stop talking shit, stop blaming, stop being a victim, and start accepting absolute responsibility for every fucking thing in your life, even if you got burned. Make sense?